Today we talked about Newton's law of cooling. And what it says is, let's suppose we have some object in an environment and the environment isn't really changing temperature. The object in the environment is going to change temperature faster when it has a very different temperature from its environment and slower when it has a very similar temperature. So in particular, dt, where capital T is the temperature of my object, is going to be proportional to the difference in temperatures between my object and my environment. And when I say proportional, what I mean is the same except maybe multiplied by a constant. So k is that constant. Now this kind of equation is called a differential equation, and in general they're pretty hard to solve, but this one's solvable. In particular, if I have a temperature function that looks like my initial temperature minus my ambient temperature, times e to that constant k times the time plus my ambient temperature, this equation has exactly this property. If I differentiate this equation, I find that this equation up here is true. Now notice if I had, this isn't true for every equation. If I have uh, any other equation for temperature, this differential equation is not going to be true, but it's true for the one I've written down here. And in fact, this is the only equation for which this differential equation is true. Let's see how to use this. Suppose it's a really cold day. It's like minus 10 outside and you want to have a hot stone to put in bed with you. So let's say you pick up a stone from outside, and it's the temperature of the outside, which is minus 10 degrees Celsius. And then you put it in the embers of your fire, and the embers are going to stay at a constant temperature of 500 degrees Celsius. Well, you take the stone out after 10 seconds, and at 10 seconds, the stone is 20 degrees. What you want is a 40 degree stone. Any hotter and it might kind of hurt you to touch it, but any colder and it won't heat up your bed as well. So I want to know when is the stone going to be 40 degrees? Well, I'm using my temperature equation, the one that's written T naught minus A times E to the KT plus A. So one thing I know, well, my embers, those are the things that aren't changing. So this is going to be my ambient temperature. And my stone, well, that's the thing that's changing, so that's the thing I want the temperature of. And at first, when I put it in the fire, it's minus 10 degrees. So T of zero is minus 10. So this is going to give me the equation so far. T of T is T of zero, that's minus 10, minus my ambient temperature, that's the 500 degree embers, E to some K T plus my ambient temperature again. And remember, k is just some constant. It's, gonna, it's a constant of proportionality. It's going to be something like the rate. The units aren't going to be exactly right, but something like the rate of how fast your, your stone is heating. So we can simplify this to be minus 510 e to the kt plus 500. So what I want is I want to know when the temperature is 40. So I should set this equation equal to 40 and solve for t, but the problem is I don't know k yet. In order to find k, I can make use of this fact that after 10 seconds my stone was only 40 degrees. So that means t of 10, sorry, after 10 seconds my stone was only 20 degrees, t of 10 is 20, but I know that t of 10 from this green equation is minus 510 e to the k times 10 plus 500. So now I can solve this for e to the k. The first thing I can do is I can subtract over that 20 and also subtract over the 510 e to the k. Then I can divide both sides by 510. Now what I have to do is I have to take a natural log if I want to solve for k. But maybe we can take a little shortcut and just say that this is e to the k to the 10 and just take the 10 through to both sides. Now that I know e to the k, I can make my temperature equation a little bit more precise. It's minus 510 e to the k to the t 
plus 500, because remember when I have a power to a power I multiply, and now I know that this is e to the minus 510, e to the k is 48 divided by 51 to the 1 over 10. So when I raise that to the power t, I just multiply a t by that power. And this is my more precise version of my, time, uh, of my temperature equation. Now this is what I'm going to set equal to 40. So the first thing I do is subtract 500 from both sides. The next thing I do is divide both sides by negative 510. And now I really do want to solve for t. But the problem is it's in an exponent. So the thing I have to do is take a logarithm and that'll bring it down. Remember my logarithm rules say that when I have the log of something to a power, I can bring that power down as a coefficient. That's why we take the logarithm of both sides. And now this is just t divided by 10 multiplied by some number. So I can just solve for t by dividing by log of 48 over 51 and multiplying by 10. And if we plug that into a calculator, it's about 17. So after about 17 seconds, my stone should be hot enough to keep me warm, but not so hot to burn me.